guys, it's me, Sarah, and unfortunately I have some sad news. My dwarf hamster, Coco, escaped out of the cages. So, about a couple of days um, ago, I had put in this two-story hamster hideaway house. that had, like, this blue roof and then, like, two-story, um, shaped like a house. And um, she usually, what she would do is she'd climb up onto the house and get onto the roof and she'd jump off and I was really scared that she was going to get hurt. So I switched it out for a igloo. And I must have not put the top on right of the tank because she may have escaped out of that way, but I don't know. She could have escaped out anywhere else, but I'm pretty sure that's where she escaped from. And the, when I came back from the dentist to check up on her, um, she wasn't there. I got all scared. I searched through all the cages again. She wasn't there, so I decided to search through my room. And um, when my dad came home later, we searched through the cages and our room and everywhere else, really. And she wasn't there. We were trying to listen to see if she was, like, stuck somewhere or something like that. But um, we didn't find her, so I decided to set um, some food at night around the whole house to see um, if she would come out or eat the food. And unfortunately, there, nothing happened, so I decided to take apart this cage and the other cage like that. And um, I set it in different places of the house, and she also didn't come. Um, so I decided to make this video right now um, of like her pictures and videos of her, just in case um, something bad has happened to her. Um, but if she does turn up, which I am um, hopeful if she will turn up or not. I don't know if she will. But I'm hoping that she will. And if she does, then I will put that video up in, um, I'll put that video up in my um, channel. <laughs> Sorry. So let's just uh, take a look at these pictures and videos of her. 